guys, welcome back. Today we are redoing number 22 of the MDTP. I do apologize, I messed up in my original video, but we're redoing it today and we are gonna get it right this time. So the question says, a seven inch tall water glass is in the shape of a right regular hexagonal prism as shown in the figure to the right. If a side of the hexagon has length two inches, what is the total surface area in square inches of the outside of the glass? So there are a couple things to recognize in this problem. The first time I did this problem, I actually forgot that it was a water glass, and so I ended up overestimating the area because I counted both of these hexagon, hexagons. So that's one thing I do want to note from the beginning, we're only counting this bottom hexagon. So what I find, or I guess the easiest way that I've found to calculate the surface area is to literally take the shape and break it down into its component parts and then find the area of each component and add it back together. So sorry, I know that was kind of a wordful, but let me give you an example. So if I was finding the surface area of this shape, I would first find the area of these six rectangles here I would add those, all of those together, and then I would find the area of this hexagon and add that area to the total area. So let's go ahead and walk through this example. So let's start out by finding the area of just this front rectangle here. So I'm just gonna call that R for um, area of the rectangle. That's going to equal two times seven um, because the formula for the area of a rectangle is just length times height and this equals 14. So now if we wanted to find the area of the entire outside here, we would just have to multiply that by six. So I'm gonna call that big R, and that's just going to be 14 times six, which is equal to 84. Now let's talk about this hexagon down here. So let me redraw one here for you guys. Let's see if I can draw this nicely. So it's going to look something like this. This is not going to be perfect, but we're going to make it work. Okay, so since we know this is a right regular hexagon, we can, let me just draw these dots here. There we go. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so we can, I guess, determine the measure of just this angle. Since we know the entire uh, measure of the degree around a circle is 360, we know that this here is just gonna be 360 divided by six, since there are six sections, which is 60 degrees. So let me redraw this triangle just to enlarge it. Okay, something like that. That's crooked, but that's okay. So we've determined that this angle here is 60 degrees. What we can also do is we can draw this little line down the middle here and get this nice 90 degree angle. And now what we have is we actually have a 30, 60, 90 triangle because we have this 90 degree angle. Half of this 60 degree angle is 30. So just this measure here, just that half is 30 degrees. And that tells us that this angle here is going to be 60 degrees. So now going back to the original problem, we know that this was a, this had a length of two. So that tells us that this half here has a length of one. And since this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we can also say that this height here is rad three. And we could even say that the length of the hypotenuse is two but that isn't really going to help us in our calculations since for the area of a triangle, we only need the base and the height. So now that we have the height, that's all we really need. So let's go ahead and put that back up here in this example. So now this height is rad three. So remember the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So we're gonna do little t for the area of just one of the triangles. We're gonna do one half of the base times the height. And simplifying that, two times one half is just one. So this is just going to give us rad three. 
Now, if we wanted to calculate the area of this entire, um, excuse me, hexagon, we're gonna multiply by six. So our big T is going to equal rad three times six, which is just six rad three. Now tying all of this together, we've essentially found the area of each one of the individual shapes. Now we're just going to add it up. So we have this, uh, let's just say area is equal to all of the rectangles plus all of the triangles, and that is going to equal 84 plus 6 rad 3. So this here is our final answer, and let's go ahead and take a look at the answer choices. Yep, and we find that here at C, so that is our answer. All right, well, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any content requests or feedback, I would love to hear from you. So go ahead and drop a comment in the comment boxes below. All right, I will see you guys next time.